rock and roll, tattoos, titties, drugs, and nurse practitioners. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect douchebag. But Professor Utonium accidentally added a special ingredient into the concoction, a federal investigation. Thus, Jeff Young was born. Today, I'm going to talk to you and show you about the craziest rabbit hole I've read in the last couple months. This is the Rock Doc rabbit hole. So let's spread apart these ass cheeks and get into the meat here. Jeff Young is a nurse practitioner who had his own practice and tried to start his own reality TV show called The Rock Doc and he filmed the pilot episode and posted it on YouTube which is where I found this entire can of worms and opened Pandora's box. <laughs> Now, Jeff Young isn't your ordinary doctor, mainly because he's not a doctor, he's a nurse practitioner, but chooses to call himself a doctor anyway, which I'm not sure you're even allowed to do, but I want to make it clear, I have nothing but respect for nurse practitioners myself, it's just this guy is quite the narcissistic asshole. Now, Jeff Young, what he believes makes him special is the fact that he listens to rock and roll music, baby, and he's covered in tattoos, he's got a goatee, he's a fucking biker badass, he's got a nice Harley Davidson, he's not afraid to hop on and pff, 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 fart the shit out of the engine there and drive that around Tennessee, and he wanted to create a reality TV show to show everyone how unique and special he is, but shockingly, it didn't turn out all that interesting. The pilot's about as much fun to watch as a colonoscopy, which is stunning considering the concept is so fascinating. He is a nurse practitioner who likes rock and roll and has tattoos. Like, that's, that's fucking impossible. I didn't even know the world would allow such a thing. Science said it couldn't be done. It's like a unicorn. And yet, Jeff Young is real. But what's also real is the fact that he's in the center of a massive opioid bust where they were investigating the overprescription of opioids where he was allegedly overprescribing them, as well as other heinous accusations against him such as exchanging drugs for sexual favors from his patients. It was a lot of terrible shit, but keep in mind it's all allegations. I don't believe any of it's proven at the moment. But yeah, the whole Atlantic article is longer than like a Harry Potter book and there was just so much shit in it. It was fucking wild. It's been a crazy afternoon spent just reading about the rock doc, but let me just go ahead and show you some clips from his pilot show, The Rock Doc. Yeah, I mean, we're here for you um, if you're sick and you're acutely ill, but I'd rather see you when you're healthy to keep you healthy and to, to keep you well. When I first saw this, I thought it was a joke and satire. I actually thought it was Justin Roiland playing a character pretending to be a doctor, but it's much worse than that. It's unfortunately a narcissistic nurse practitioner pretending to be a doctor and a very real practice. Reality TV shows are always shitty, but this one I think would have been a new level of bad had it actually been picked up by some delusional executive at a network. It, this show is like, it looks like Guy Fieri, instead of going to Flavortown, opened up a clinic and then created a really boring show about it. So I'll keep showing you some clips here, but you're gonna notice a theme where nothing interesting is going on. He's like a brother, father, un Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff. <laughs> Uncle Jeff. That'll be Uncle Jeff. I don't know. Oh, Mr. Dr. Jeff. Oh, Mr. Dr. Jeff. That's what I call him. Talk to my brother. This is the only interview with the staff in the pilot episode here where they just call him Uncle Dr. Jeff which sounds like a Cartoon Network show with like Uncle Grandpa or some shit. There's not a whole lot of footage of him in the practice or anything like that. He interacts with a couple of patients and gives a few shots, but that's really about it. He does seem to really enjoy giving shots. I've noticed like most of the pictures and video clips I've seen is with him giving a shot to a patient. Not that that's necessarily like a bad thing or anything, but I feel like he's like oh, on camera. I need to be like real doctory. I'm surprised he wasn't taking like a stethoscope and putting it on their butthole or something. But yeah, that's, there's not a whole lot of time spent in there. I think what he wanted to focus on is his wacky, crazy side. The party hard, chug a beer with my asshole, not your ordinary nurse practitioner wild side. I'm very passionate about what I do. I'm very good at what I do. I work hard, but I play harder. I can't relate. I'm a sucker for reality. If there's any women watching this, I know you probably had to change your panties twice or even three times by now after seeing him on this motorcycle so many times. I mean, it's just so fucking cool. Making panties so sodden just by riding around on that badass machine. Is he legit? Is he, what is he? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, he's just a doctor in town. He's like the rock doctor they call him. And I was like, oh, that's cool. It's like, so uh, so he's, he's straight. Like, he's not some gay, weird dude that's gonna like rape me or something. <laughs> 
This clip isn't from the pilot episode, this is from another video on the Rock Doc channel. I don't know what the fuck this was about. Dude's just sitting here looking like Charlie Chaplin's meth addict brother with ultimate paranoia. I, I don't know what doctor he's seen in his life where he feels like he's at risk of being raped when he visits the doctor, and I have no idea what it has to do with being gay. So I'm guessing he's just a homophobe or something and he couldn't help but get it out here on camera? I, I don't know. This was the most confusing part of the whole rock doc rabbit hole. This enigma of a person here. I, um... I love my kids. Um... It's, it's one of those things where, um... You can tell he really wanted to get some tears out for the camera here, but just wasn't really able to do it. I don't think he's a classically trained actor, so, you know, he's trying his best, and, you know, you can't fault him for really going for it there, trying to sell the performance, but he just wasn't really able to get his eyes wet enough to really get the emotion behind it. But he tried. He definitely did try. Rekindle our, our thirst for music and start making music again. But we're going to do a little different this time. We're going to go with uh, sort of a rap theme instead of the old uh, classic rock and roll theme. So I'm looking forward to getting into that studio and cutting a few tracks and we'll see how it goes. This is by far the most thrilling segment of the Rock Doc pilot episode where he talks about his musical career with his friend. They've betrayed the rock and roll genre, just given two big middle fingers and said, Fuck you, we're so heavy metal that we're not even going to make rock, we're going to make rap. And so they did. And it sounded incredible, as you could hear there. That was nothing but a fucking banger. They are just cooking up the hits over there, slapping so, you know, we get a little segment about them trying to become SoundCloud rappers, and I gotta tell you, they're making some fine creations. Yeah, the, uh, a lot of the content of, of the lyrics comes from uh, Jeff's haters, uh, the, the rumors that they spread about him, um, just the, the, the way uh, they, they, you know, they talk about him. So we've decided to create songs about each of these rumors that, that have been put out there about Jeff. Or take them to dinner, you don't take them to lunch, you don't make them feel special or spend very much. You bitch in the day and you bitch in the night. Make them ripe and ready, they about to take flight. We got, we got haters. And I bet the haters feel pretty fucking silly now after hearing that fire. I bet they feel real fucking dumb for having ever doubted Jeff's musical abilities. He just sat there and fucking spit bar after bar. And then with that beautiful chorus that sounded like something out of an old Christian gospel played through a walkie-talkie, I think that's a top 40 chart right there. Easy. That's going right to the fucking top. Jeff was just a natural right there. He just had such a mean flow. You don't take him to dinner. You don't take him to lunch. You don't make them feel special. You don't, you don't spend very much. It's like a schoolhouse rock flow, baby. Like he's a pioneer innovating in the rap game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah that means there's an album number two. Did <laughs> I do that right? I think you're supposed to like... I don't know, help me out here. Like, you I do it, I don't know. I don't know. Album number two? What, how do you do it, gang? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. No, I, don't I don't want to, to, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, um, yeah, actually, I want to offend everybody. No, <laughs> actually, we do. <laughs> and that right there marks the end of the Rock Doc pilot episode. For what could have been one of the worst reality TV shows ever, now only lives on in YouTube videos. Uh, as you can probably see, it wasn't the best, but there was clear potential there, especially with the, the rap side quest, the, the rap uh, arc there. There, there, was, there was a lot to explore, a lot of potential there, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about this and show some of it because I spent so long reading about this guy and this series that he tried to start. It, it was quite the fucking crazy ride, to be honest. So yeah, that's really about it. So yeah.